What's up guys, Karan here with Ruben Rodriguez. And what did you do and what did you play for LA this weekend? I got top four at the LA Regional playing Sortzel. Okay. Ten, ten so why'd you play Sortzel out of all the decks? Uh, it was the deck I was most comfortable with. Mm -hmm. um, I just, honestly, the main deck I've been playing for the past couple months. Okay, cool. Um, would you be playing Sortzel going forward or did you want to try something new with Despia coming out? I'm uh, probably going to continue playing uh, Sword Soul. Okay. Just learning the Despia matchup as, you know, the meta changes. Okay. Sounds good. And before we start, do you have any shout outs? Yeah, shout outs to my teammates, uh, Sinister yeah. Gaming. Yep. We got Brian, Jesus, uh, Leo. Yep. Those guys testing every okay. night. Of course, the real team captain here, folks. Ruben, <laughs> yes. the real yeah. team captain. Me as a team captain, I had to represent the team. Yep, absolutely. And you uh, got the job done. Yeah, then I also got my boys at Locals yep. uh, here at TCG Top Choice Gaming. Sounds good. Uh, I, I want an extra shout out to Joe Rodriguez, yep. mm -hmm. also top seven, yeah. the homie. Uh, Karan behind the camera for always helping. Love to see it. Uh, you got Anson that was in my corner yep. all day yep. on Saturday, just hyping me up, keeping the energy. So I appreciate all you guys. Appreciate all my teammates. Sounds good. All right, let's get into the deck we're on. All right, so first starting off with we got three Ecclesia, we have three Moye, three Long Young, and two Taye. Uh, standard. This is what every Sword Soul player uh, plays. Yeah. So, it's nothing much Did you there. ever feel like cutting Taye to one at all? So, I gave it some thought, you know, just looking at other profiles, seeing what they say. Um, but I just felt because I play Desires, as you'll see in the list, mm -hmm. I didn't want to resolve Desires and the one get better. Okay, fair enough. Uh, then we go with the Tangy package. Uh, played three Adhara, three Vishuda, and three Ashina. Um, I felt like this was good. Uh, the only change I'd make here was I will drop one of the shooter and add the water tank. Okay, cool. Uh, water tank did come up uh, in my round five loss to the mirror match. Mm. So definitely gonna add that in there. Then we're gonna go with hand traps to continue the monsters. We got three Ash, three Ogre, two Veiler, and two Ghost Bell. Okay, how did this hand trap line up? fair for you for this hero. So I feel like this hand trap lineup was good. Um, Ash is generic. Ogre for the adventure package. And I was testing, like I said, with Leo, the Despio matchup. And I felt like Baylor um, helped a lot because you just hit their fusion cards once they resolve that. Ash is stops brand diffusion. And then Ghost Bell was specifically for the uh, Branded matchup, yeah. you know, because the you know, Brandon and Red, you stop that and then you stop them from playing on your turn. Yep. Um, what else? Also, hits the Bow Wow uh, when yeah. they Brand try to resolve Brand. that. Mm -hmm. So, very important. Yep. It's best deck, so you got to stop it. Yep. So, there's the hand traps. And we have the death spot. Best for... card in the deck. <laughs> best card in the yeah. deck for sure. Yeah, I played, you know, how package, so good. Yep. Uh, the way I played the deck was. I didn't. Re I rarely started with health package. My health package is more of a, Turn two. a backup plan. Yeah, yeah. You know, gotta get things going. Only drew it once in round ten, my last round for breaking. Uh, then we going on with the spells. We had call by, pot of desires. Um, then we go three vessel, three emergence, and triple droplet. Okay. How'd you like droplet in the tournament for you? Uh, I wanted to be a little different. Um, wanted to go with Droplet. Uh, other people play the tactical talents. Um, but Droplet was just, even if I was just gonna trade one for one, uh, such as like a DPE, mm -hmm. um, I was okay with that because uh, my cards are gonna stay on the field and resolve. And then I'll just put DPE back into their extra deck with a Shuda or a Baxia. Um, same goes for, let's say Dragoon, in case the Despot players wanted to make that. I yeah. wanted to make sure I had an out for that. Also, Scythe. You're not always yeah. going to win the die roll. Uh, yeah. So if you can open Lancia and they go Scythe, uh, you have an answer in your main deck. Yeah. So I wanted to go for that. Cool. And our trap lineup, we just had three Infirm and the one Blackout. Okay, cool. So that was that. And how many cards made? 46 in the main deck. Okay, 46. Cool. So we'll go with the extra deck. Yep. Uh, since I play Sword Soul, this is my field center. Then you gotta have your awesome tokens. 
Yeah, of course. So, <laughs> there we go. Then, for our Link Monsters, we played Double Monk. Um, we played the One Shaman. We played Hauk and the Aurorodon. Mm -hmm. So, played the Shaman. Uh, I could have played the Third Monk or, or another Synchro Monster like Herald. But I just felt like if I needed to revive something uh, or revive my monk so can, I can attack and destroy and then do direct damage, that was just, that was good. Okay. Uh, then we go Yazi, the double Baxia, you know, standard. And we got two Chi Chow, one Berserker, one Chow Fang, and then our level 10s. Uh, I wanted to save this one for last. This Long Young. Is so good. Yeah, I made him every time. Um, game one, two, and three. You know, going first, you're gonna make this. If they main nib, they main it. Cool. Um, but to have double disruption instead of one, I feel is way better. Yeah. So this is definitely MVP of the day. Just being able to burn. Um, and once your opponent runs out of resources, they know they're gonna lose because they're so low on life. Mm -hmm. So okay. cool. Just extra deck. Then we have our side deck. So I played the one heart piece, uh, triple cosmic, in case back row wanted to act up that day. Mm -hmm. uh, everyone wanted to play it, especially it being represented in the finals at the YCS. Um, also being able to side this against print kids in the standby phase, hit their fusion, because you know where they set it. Um, and same with the heart piece. Being able to activate harpies in main phase, making them force into force force them into the fusion, um, and then try to play around that. And we have draw against for the flunderies matchup. Um, the back row is also for flunderies, hitting the trap in the standby. Then we have triple nib uh, just against based. I played three imperm, two valor, uh, triple ogre. So Griffin negates usually what they have on board. Uh, so once you go nib, you have cards to get rid of that. Uh, then you play the one reboot for back row removal um, and for flundries. So once they activate trap, stop that. They can't play on your turn. Um, D barrier, call fusion for Despia. So they can't play. Um, and also against Sword Soul, once you go through your monster negations, activate them. Just call Synchro from there. Uh, then triple robbery. Uh, robbery came up big because uh, if I went first, I would set this. And then later on against prank kids, you know, you flip that, they can't do much in a past turn. Um, one time opponent tried to Phantasmate, but because they token collected, I just flipped robbery, Phantasmate didn't come on board, they didn't draw, and they just scooped right after that. So that's the and I'm side deck. Alrighty. Wow, is there any changes you would make in the future with this deck? So yeah, changes, uh, just take out the one Vashuda, uh, add the water. Okay. Can you, Did you ever feel like you needed Heavenly Circle? Heavenly Circle, nope. I okay. just felt like being able to get a normal monster on board and then resolve a uh, vessel, you're just gaining so much advantage. Being okay. able to Foolish and Rhoda, it's okay. pretty broken. Okay, sounds good. Well, thank you for your take of Sorso and uh, congrats on your top four at LA Regional. Thank you. Take it easy.